Well, thanks for joining us. Police in the Netherlands will keep a man behind bars as they investigate the murder of a Minnesota college student. 21-year-old Sarah Pappenheim was found stabbed to death in her apartment in Rotterdam on Wednesday. A Dutch newspaper photograph shows police arresting her 23-year-old roommate. Prosecutors have not made his name public, but said that he met before a judge who ordered him to be detained for two weeks while the investigation continues. The motive behind the stabbing is still unclear. Kate Raddatz has been following this story. She joins us right now. And Kate, you spoke with Sarah's mother today. I did, Amelia. I had a brief moment to chat with Danae Odegaard this morning as she was getting ready to catch a plane to leave for the Netherlands. She told me her daughter's life was cut much too short, and her only purpose now was to get there to bring her home. As police continue to investigate the murder of 21-year-old musician Sarah Pappenheim, her classmates abroad are still reeling in shock. Like a lot of sadness, but also a lot of uh, fear in case like something like this might happen again. Pappenheim was studying psychology at Erasmus University in Rotterdam with a focus on suicide. Her brother killed himself three years ago. Now her family is grieving the loss of two children. You get that parent's worst nightmare, and my heart aches for Sarah's family, especially in the wake of, uh, you know, this is the second death in their family of a child. Cheryl Hill is the founder of Depart Smart, a Minnesota organization aimed at helping students travel safely. Her 16-year-old son died while studying abroad in Japan. She encourages families to make sure they have travel insurance and to register with the state. In Tyler's case, it was $38,000 to bring uh, to repatriate his remains, and then there's the cost of the funeral on top of that. So, if you had travel insurance for medical evacuation or death mm -hmm. in this particular situation, insurance would cover. That cost. A GoFundMe for the Pappenheim family says it will cost them $40,000 just to get Sarah's body back home. And coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll hear more from people who knew Sarah, including those who worked with her overseas and also here at home through her music. If you'd like to donate to help the family, we do have information on that at WCCO.com slash links. Yeah, such a heartbreaking situation. So awful. I know. Thank you, Kate. Mm -hmm.